<clears throat> Let's quickly discuss the problem on screen. Okay, this is figure 6 as, as shown in the prompt. This is our figure 6. So, figure 6 shows two plates that is weighing uh, 27 kilo newtons. So, we know weight is equal to 27 for kilo. I prefer putting 2, I mean power 3, posted by cable. This cable. Uh, Cable sling that are, are clay, uh, that has clay visit. This clay visit, clay visit, uh, their U shapes are just uh, holders like they are in this shape, and they should have a bolt here or a pin, whatever they choose to call it. Okay, each half of the cable is at an angle of 35. Determine the approximate average shear force each pin for each pin, or should I say each pin uh, experience? So first we have weight. Weight is always from the sensor. Okay, we call it mg. Okay, which is given to us. We shouldn't worry about the newton stuff, kilo newton. But this weight is evenly distributed. Uh, because this thing, if you can see, it's evenly hanging. So this weight is evenly distributed on this clavis and also on this clavis. In simple terms, I could just say if this is clavis is side one, this is side two. We have y, I mean one component of weight, and we have two component of weight. Because the angle is the same there, you could just assume that we this weight is divided evenly on the both ends. And if we divide both sides, uh, if we divide the weight by two. Um, we, we obviously going to get weight on each clavis to be equal to 13.5. So each clavis get 13.5. So this 13.5, 13.5, summing up or giving us the resultant weight of 27. So it's newtons, kilo newtons. Okay, so we now have weights that goes to this clavis. So but this weight that goes to this clavis is balanced by another component of which is tension y. We can get tension of we can say that tension tension y is equal to weight. Then we call it weight two or well, two component of of weight. So we can get this one because we do know the angle because of if you can notice here. You can put Z here and call alternating angle from your primary mathematics. Okay. So if we also have 35 here. We, want to, we, we have the side one to get the tension on this cable. So we know that um, this is an adjacent. It's going to be cos. The angle is going to be 35 is equal to adjacent. Of which is T Y O over O over the hypotenuse of which is tension. But we know that this equals to this. We can just put weight in it. So then we cross multiply to find tension. This will go there, this will go there. We have T Y is equals to T Y? No, we have T. We're making a mistake. We'll have T is equal to TY. TY is that one weight of which the half of weight is 13.5 kilo newtons all over cos 35 degrees. And then you can work this with your calculator. And if you work it with your calculator, you're getting an answer of, uh, of 16.48 on and on and on we're just going to keep it like this but you know calculator just shift store it to some value i just did that too here i started it at f on my calculator so now we have tension tension is the force that cause shear 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 stress on this clevis so we're just going to look at the clevis side view okay i did just try to show you that this thing is something of this nature I'm looking at the side and they there is 
a fault or a pin, whatever they call it, that goes this way. And the shear that we're discussing is the shear here and here. As this thing is trying to balance weight, remember, we have a cable here, and then we have this thing trying to hold the plate. So we also given the diameter of the pin, this pin, we're given this diameter to be 22. Because I always work with pi r squared to get, to get the area, because this is like, this is a bolt. Let me try to draw it. This is like this. Maybe like this on the other side. We're really not interested in the head. But the diameter here, the diameter of the pin was given to be 22 millimeters. And I don't like working with uh, diameters. I prefer radiuses. I'm just going to divide it and give me a radius of 11, right? So now I can say the area is equal to pi r squared. Then pi is pi r, if that just say it's 11, but we're given millimeters, I don't like millimeters too. I'm just going to times 10 negative 3 squared. I have squared there. Then my calculator does the work for me. And after calculator doing work, it gives me a very surprising answer of area. Let me just denote it at big A. Area is equal to 0 0.00300. 38 yes and then from here i think i can move the comma just to make things easy for me if i just say one two three four i could just move okay now we have area we have tension of which is the force with those you know that we can get your stress because stress is literally your force all over area Okay, what is our force? It's 16, remember 16 kilo newton. So it's 16.48 times 10 power 3. Okay, all over area. Area is what? It's 0, 0.00. You could just write in exponential form, of which is way better than what I'm doing here. But notice that the area, it's, the, the, it's a, it shears here. And it also shears here, here, and here, here, and here. So in area, you're not just going to put area, but you're going to put two areas because this thing shears in both ends. Okay. As a result, if this this pin or whatever it is deformed, you'll see something like this. Okay. Let me try to draw it very big. It will deform something to something like this. Let me say the weight was hard. If it deforms this way, you put it, there will be two deforms. There will be two de deformations. Deform here and here. Right? And these are the areas that we'll be taking to run. There are two. That's why I'm going to put two here. And again, let the calculator do everything for me. And, and if you did press wall on your calculator, a calculator should give you an answer like mine, which is 1, 2, 6, 7, 7. Uh, two four one point two two. Okay, so that is force area. You can just Newton uh, per meter like this, of which we can call it Pascal's. It's also equivalent to pressure. Okay, if you're working with fluid. You can also, for, for the net, you could just move your comma here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We just make it 21.67, let me just say 68 times 10. How many I got? One, two, three, four, five, six times 10 power six uh pascals right and this time 10 power 6 is equivalent to you know it mega right you could just say mega pascals so it's up to you but this answer is fine 
they could just it depends on how uh, the question asked maybe they should they would have uh, instructed you what units they prefer so just make sure that you read your instruction and remember he seeing anything like what what units I need to use so either of them are correct for me for your for your exam make sure that you check thank you please subscribe if you haven't like if you find the video interesting and don't forget to share if you really need it thank you